in today's class we are going to discuss in the group the clients four group so in this let us consider a set a as e comma a comma b comma c according to the clans we were having order as what four so the order of a so let me consider a binary operation to describe the table in this binary operation we are going to consider multiplication table multiplication table so the operator is for the multiplication operator is dot let me take uh, the all the elements what they are given in the set a what we are considered uh, in the set a as e a b c and same way in the column wise e a b c dot e will get e in this clients when we multiply the identity element with a we will get a when we multiply the identity element with the b we will get b itself similarly c itself we can observe in the first column also when we multiply the a with the identity element we will get the a b with multiplying with identity element we will get the b and uh, when we multiply the c with the identity element we will get the c only now in the clients four group when we are taken a dot a we are getting a square when we have the a square or b square or c square we will get the identity element in the clans so a into a is a square we will get the identity elements in the clans four group okay same thing a into b when we are taken a into b we will get the another element what we have in the set it is c similarly if we have a b dot c b multiplication with the c we are getting the element as a and if we have a c dot b also a if we have b dot a also c okay let me write down in the table so a dot b is c a dot c so here what is a dot c is the set another element what we are having b we have to write b okay similarly if we are having c dot a also what b okay so a dot c is b now b dot a is what c b dot b is b square so we will get the identity element b dot c is what a c dot a c dot a is we are getting b c dot b we are getting a c 
three dot C is what identity element E. So from this table, we can observe that we can observe that each row, each row, and each column, each column. If you observe that, all the elements of the set A is present. Hence, it satisfies the closure property. It satisfies the closure property. Okay. I will write it here like each row and column contains all the elements of the set. Hence, it satisfies the closure property. Second one is associative property. associative property. Let me take an example that the three elements A comma B comma C we know that associative property is A dot B dot C is equal to we have to prove that the same value of the right hand side as A dot of B dot C. If both are equal, then we can say that it satisfies the associative property. Let me see from the table, what is A dot B is? A dot B is what? We are getting C. So, C, this value is a C dot C. What is the C dot C we were having? identity element E. Okay. Similarly, let me check the right hand side one as A dot of what is B dot C? B dot C is what? A. B dot C is what? A. Right. What is A dot A is? It is what? E. We can observe that in both the right hand side is same. So therefore, we can conclude that A dot B dot C equal to A dot of B dot C. So this is said to be an associative property. So third one is identity property. So, how to identify the identity element in the class 4 group? See, when we observe that, the first row, this is the first row and first column, this is the first column. Right? First row and the first column in the table is identical to the what leading row and leading column right this is the leading row and this is what leading column which we got the corresponding leading element in the first and the first row and this first column it is same so therefore we can say that E is what? Identity element. Okay. So, E is what? Identity element. Okay. And next fourth point, because we have to show that cleanse for group is abelian. The fourth point is inverse. You can observe that which we have the principal diagonal element. 
the principal diagonal element in the principal diagonal which is consisting the what identity element that is what e right so each element each element is its own inverse or each row or each column which contains the identity element e then we can say that it is inverse of the respective element. You can observe that. Let me take the second row element. In the second row, identity element is E, right? So, we got in the second place. So, we can observe that A element which is overlapping with the identity element. You can observe here which I am going to mark it. It is what? Self inverse. Same thing. You can check with the another element. The another element is what? B. Where we are having the identity element as E. Right? E. So, when you observe the identity element along the row and the column, which is having what? The self inverse self inverse similarly c the identity element is here so therefore this along the same column when you observed it we were having the c element so the inverse of c is c itself so therefore which is having their own inverse so we can conclude it each element each element is its own inverse own inverse so if the these four condition is satisfies then we can say that the given clans four group is a group but we have to prove that the clans four group is an abelian right so that's what in the table you can observe this respective. Yeah, you can observe that when you fold this entire thing, it is overlapping, right? A is overlapping with the A, B is overlapping with the B, C is overlapping with the C means this means that it is symmetrical about the leading diagonal right so hence we can conclude that it is holds a commutative property so i will specify that the table is the table is symmetric symmetrical about the leading diagonal hence commutative holds so all the five properties are holds good so we can say that the given set a is an abelian is an abelian group and this is called what cleanse four group it's called cleanse four group